hello everyone once again thank you for um, subscribing to my channel and looking forward to my videos um, basically I don't often make videos but I do try my best when I create something different and nice to post the tutorial so I'm going to be making a DIY Ankara sneakers so basically it's a simple step that um, would show you how I make my own DIY sneakers this is what I'll be teaching you how to do today so I made this myself from um, a simple sneakers I bought from Primark so I created this so today I'm gonna use this Ankara print on the sneakers on this um I think they call this pimp soles yeah they call pimp soles anyway so um, this is my fabric so what I've done I've had I used chalk to cross it out to let me know what the right side is and what the wrong side is so this sort of Ankara um, fabric I really love it because you can't really tell the difference between the front and the back but um, if you look closely you would know so I've crossed out a section that shows me the back of my Ankara so um, basically what you would need for this um, tutorial is your pink sole of your choice Ankara fabric of your choice. You need some fabric glue. This is what I use. And you also need some PVA glue. You need PVA glue as well as the UHU glue. But my experience, the PVA glue does not adhere as well as this UHU glue. So I use both of them to give, um, to allow my fabric adhere well enough on my pimsole. So uh, if you notice on this, the inner fabric compared to the outer fabric, the outer fabric has a shiny glossy feel compared to the inner fabric. So what I've done to get that feel or that effect is the use of a mod, mat, mod podge. So I've applied mod podge onto the fabric when I was done to give it this effect. So if you do want that effect, that's fine. But if you do want um, the fabric to remain as it is or as it was initially then you don't need to bother yourself about that then you need some um, knives I got this off eBay but um, it, it didn't come with any like support on itself so um, be careful if you do get just this type so this is what I have this was the one I used this one here because it's quite sharp to get into all the corners like at this point here you need to get into all the corners yeah so um i'm going to crack on with this and stop blabbing away so um watch on so the first step is you want to make sure you don't have any fabric on here like losing threads and all that on your pimp sole so prepare your shoe and get your glue so what i do first is i dab as much as I can on this so use your don't please don't use your fingers for this um, I decided to use my fingers because I know I'm gonna wash my hands immediately you don't want to use your fingers for for this so um, you're better off using a brush or um, or anything else that can spread it e evenly around so I'd say to use my fingers because I'm gonna wash it up. So you're gonna keep doing this, spread it all around, and I'll show you what next to do. Guys, for the next step, you want to take this UHU glue and make sure you get into all the corners of the shoe, like of the pimp sole. Go through all the corners all around, like I've done here gone through all the corners yeah make sure you get in there into all the corner don't miss any bits then also dab it around anywhere you may have missed any glue um, the idea is to have a proper concealed shoe let it lie flat so I'll show you the next step your fabric and lay it right on top remember you're going to lay the left the wrong side onto the the glue so lie it all around and use your hand and massage it and make sure it lies flat down then you take your scissors and push it all around on both um, pimp soles just push it forward to make sure it lies completely flat 
blood then at the edges you need to use your basically i'm doing this with one hand because i'm holding onto my phone while i make this video but when you're doing it you need to hold your shoe up and grip it right hard and make this um depression here yeah so basically this is what you're trying to achieve making sure it goes right into this section here so we're gonna leave this for 24 hours that's how i do mine i leave it for 24 hours we'll leave this for 24 hours to adhere properly then i'll show you the next step so at the moment this is all i have so that's what i have we shall come back to this in 24 hours see you guys later it's the next step will be to achieve this so basically i'm gonna use my um lead carefully so if you get something similar to this make sure you are extremely extremely careful but i recommend you get the prop the one with the head <clears throat> so i'm going to achieve this so i've done this one and i'm going to show you how i'll do the the next one so yeah this is how can you see how cute it is so i haven't bothered going to do um doing the inner part because i think i like it this way green as it is so i'm going to go ahead and show you how i trim it off so once you're ready guys you need to grab your shoe which um so basically this is what i've done i've got my um blade here and basically i ran this cord all the way there and i've gotten this so i'm going to show you what we're going to do with this one That's about it. Chopped up. Try the next one. That's about it. So you're going to do this all the way around. So guys, once you're done, this is what you should have. A complete cute revamped pim soles with Ankara fabric. So I'm done. And I hope you like the result. Thumbs up for me. Thank you. Bye. So guys, I had to do a video of one where I apply the Mod Podge. So basically, I've applied the Mod Podge all over this one. So this is what I do. Dip my brush into the Mod Podge and spread it on. So you have to do this all over. Move this aside. Spread it all over. So when you do this, you need to hold your shoe with your, hand, your other hand. Remember I said I... Um, I'm making this video with my phone so I have my hand my other hand holding the phone so basically that's all you do just spread it on and let it dry completely could take two days to dry then you're ready to wear it I'll show you what it looks like when it's done